Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the Frontline Changes report for the past 48 hours. A lot of frontline changes, some very significant ones. So uh, the, the whole list is pretty long. Uh, there's Lyubimovka, Zelini Shait, Novo Ivanovka, Ruskaya Konopelka, Krulia Kivka, <clears throat> then uh, Chestivia, Klishivka, uh, uh, Nelipivka, Leonidivka, Lisivka, Seridove, Sukarini, Maximilianivka, and uh, which is a lot, uh, and then uh, Novodarivka. So we're going to jump straight to the Kurds front first. So at the Kurds front, uh, there is frontline changes, uh, Joe location of Russian forces uh, appearing on the new street at Lyubimovka, and uh, this is to corroborate the Russian claim. Uh, uh, this is basically this is the Russian side not posting this. I think if I'm not wrong, no, it's a military summary. So, um, so basically this actually corroborates the Russian claims that the Russians have uh, taken the entirety of Lyubimovka, which leads to the uh, Russian uh, sources to claim the full capture of Lyubimovka. This has not been uh, acknowledged by the Russian Defense Ministry just yet, and uh. So, and then there is a joint location of Russian forces at Zelenny Shite, which actually, you know, sh shows that the Russians have indeed come to uh, control at least the western part of Zelenny Shite. Uh, however, there is other joint location that show that you, the Russians did try to push out and fail. Ukrainians are redrawing from Zelenny Shite towards this uh, entrenched position, I guess, around the Tosti Lok and the river, uh, the lake region. So, this is the current uh, frontline changes over in this uh, western flank. Uh, of the uh, Kursk front so uh, and uh, there's one very new one this is the latest uh, which is pretty ridiculous so Russian, uh, Russia actually uh, launched an, a blitz attack in the north of Leonidovka basically the Russians attacked in this direction with three APCs and they basically met a Ukrainian tank around here and then the, yeah the APC got destroyed at point blank uh, at point blank range again this is like the second time in like Two three days, where a Russian armored vehicle just drive into a Ukrainian tank. What the hell is the Russians doing? Are they so desperate to quickly capture grounds? I'm not sure. Like, why isn't there you no know, sending of uh, drones ahead to check out where they're going first? So whatever it is, uh, this leads to some interesting uh, frontline changes per se. So clearly, the Russian uh, Russian uh, BMP or BTR, uh, not BMP, BTR got destroyed around here and so they can't possibly capture this area and there's another vehicle is destroyed north of Leonidovka if I'm not wrong so this area I can only put it as Russian presence but the fact that they can drive to this point means that the the area north of Leonidovka is likely under Russian control so this northern part is now fully under Russian ca captured uh under our mapping however uh, the rest of this area here, this is uh, this is only a Russian uh, presence, which means that we'll be overlapping mapping around here. So we'll we'll continue to monitor the situation uh, around this uh, Novo, Novo Ivanovka region. This direction down this road is he heading towards this place called Viktorovka, and it's very interesting because the Russians are attacking or have some presence around Malaya Loknia, and the fact that they are going for Viktorovka is clearly a pincer. You can see that it's clearly a pincer. So um, this is some uh, very desperate work from the Russian side. I'm not sure why are they rushing for time. So, but it is what it is. Clearly, the front line here is super, uh, super you no know, foggy, super gray, and we have no freaking idea where the real front line changes. Uh, front line are around here. So we just continue to monitor. We continue to have reports of fighting at Malaya Loknia. So you know, it's it's pretty confusing. At this moment, the next front line change we jump to the southern flank of the Kurs front. The Russian forces have been geolocated outside of Ruskaya Konopelka, confirming Russian full, full securing and capture of Ruskaya Konopelka. So the Russians continue to make advances around here, and it looks like with these two geolocations, locations, they have secured Ruskaya Konopelka as they continue to move down the railway line towards Suja. So, Suja is this a uh, main city. Around here, the Russians are pushing in this direction towards Suja. And um, th so this is the biggest city the Ukrainians have captured uh, during this uh, cursed offensive, which now has become a cursed defensive. So that's all for this uh, region. We we move to the next frontline change over at the Kupian's front. 
So over at Kulyakivka, the Russian forces are going for the breach between Senkove and Kulyakivka, and there is some uh, geolocation which is pretty significant. In the northern side of the Kulyakivka, this is the bridge, by the way, this is the bridge, the Russian forces have captured one, one full street and entered into the next street, next junction uh, in uh, Kulyakivka. So they are heading directly for the bridge right now. It looks like they are heading directly for the bridge. So this is a pretty significant frontline change. The Ukrainians most likely is, of course, uh, defending uh, because it's so important strategically. So we shall continue to monitor the frontline changes around here. Very, very significant frontline change around this area here. So <clears throat> the bridge is not too far anymore. So the next frontline change, we jumped jump all the way to uh, Klishevka. Oh, Chasifia, sorry, at Chasifia. So there's some major frontline changes around here. So uh, so the Russian forces are pushing through the uh, Otebersky or Zutneve uh, district uh, on the eastern part of Chasifia. However, in the south, uh, Russian forces have expanded the control in the in the southern part of uh, Chasifia. And uh, this is a massive breakthrough into the bottom position, the rear position of or you no, know, the the south of Chasifia, and this is going to complicate the uh, Russia, a uh, Ukrainian defense because this area here is pretty huge. So this the massive, massive frontline change. I did report this on the situation report already. So <clears throat> this this attack is going to go like crazy right now. I think the Ukrainians are going to struggle uh in the southern part here. So but we shall see how this continue to develop. Uh. Because I'm not sure, I got a feeling that Ukrainians may not have enough troops around Chasifia. So let's see how this goes. So uh, after Chasifia, the next front line change is Klishevka. So the Ukrainian mapping, the Deep State UA, have uh, this claim. <clears throat> this area here. Now they claim that the Russians have advanced in the southeast of Klishevka. They finally have uh, rescinded their front line around here. So the Russians are making some. Uh, progress in the securing of Klishevka. So tentatively, it's still not considered captured by the Ukrainians at this moment. So after Klishevka, we go to uh, the next front line change over at the New York front. So this is New York. <coughs> this is Torex. In the north of New York, uh, Russian forces have been geolocated on the western part or northern part of Nelipivka. And this means that the Russian forces confirm is here and uh, and I got a feeling that it's coming from Leonidivka direction. And uh, this is how... Uh, and I go down the railway line. So this is where the Russians most likely have uh, captured. Uh, Ukrainians most likely still have positions around Nelipivka at this moment, given the how confident they are at this moment, despite there is already announcement of capture of Nelipivka by the Russian Defense Ministry. So we will continue to wait. And uh, uh, how... how and, uh, but you can see that there is this... Uh, very terrible uh, bulge uh, or you know, salient in this area here. The Russians are could potentially just close it up at this moment right now with this pincer. So we shall see uh, how this continues to develop. The geolocation is a, is a welcome uh, information, you know, because this area has been very foggy and finally we have this geolocation of Russian forces. Clearly, you know, this is a great help for us to uh, map the actual situation around this area here. So let's continue to monitor the situation uh, in the uh, New York front. The next frontline change, we jump from Nelipivka, Leonidivka region to the Sivka. <clears throat> so over at the Pokrov front, uh, Russian forces has been geolocated inside the Sivka, making some advance down the street. So this is the first street of uh, Lysivka that the Russians have uh, confirmed to have taken by this confirmed by geolocation. So that's good. We have some uh, uh, confirmation right here of this Russian push towards Pokrov. So in the in the south uh, south of Selidove around Sukerine region, so Russian uh, Russian mapping have uh, confirmed. Russian sources has, has declared that Sukarine is now fully captured. However, even their mapping don't really show, show fully captured because there's still some buildings around here. And uh, this is the full extent of the Russian claim. However, based on the uh, Ukrainian mapping, uh, this is by Ukrainian mapping and this is by geolocation, uh, the extent of the capture is not as big. Uh, it's only this tree line and uh, the Ukrainians have acknowledged that the Russians have captured the northern part of Sukarine. 
So it's not exactly entire thing uh, at this moment. Uh, but the Russians clearly is advancing in this direction westward from Sukhurini. So we will just continue to monitor the situation uh, in this front line, change, front line uh, situation. And the Russians could basically just ignore Selidove and continue to push west, which is, would be interesting. So after Sukhurini, we go down south uh, to Maximilianivka. So a lot of frontline changes around here, a lot of uh, updates in the past 48 hours. And um, and we have, this is the latest information, geolocation of Russian forces uh, confirming that Russians have captured uh, this area here. This is the full confirmed extent of the frontline changes the Russians have uh captured all these areas around Maximilianivka. So this is confirmed by Deep State US mapping and geolocations. So uh, if you look at the Russian mapping, Russian uh, sources have mapped it much bigger to this extent. So they claim that uh, everything south, uh, southwest of um, Georgievka and south of Maximilianivka, as well as the rest of Maximilianivka has been fully captured by the Russian forces. So this is based on the Russian uh, information uh, but most likely there's a high chance that the russians did indeed do all this uh given the tight the tide of war at this sector so i believe that uh we are going to see more advances however we are we are coming closer to Krakow, where it's a heavily fortified uh settlement uh so it's going to slow down so this part is just ukrainians are losing their lines and uh, they will have to regroup and there is a lot of places for the Ukrainians to regroup. So I'm going to expect that the frontline changes will slow down within the next few days around this sector. So <clears throat> Maximilianivka, so this major, major frontline change around here. And one final frontline change is over at Novodarivka. It's over at the Prione region in uh, the Velika Novosilka sector. So north of Prione, so towards Novo. Darivka, the Russian forces has been geolocated just off the lakes, which confirmed that the, the Russian forces have expanded north of Prione in the direction of Novo Darivka. So this invalidates uh, part of the Ukrainian claims, which is previously already marked as Russian capture, uh, and then you know, just a little bit more down one tree line. So there's just tree line around here. So, so the Russians have expanded the control in this area here. So uh, otherwise, uh, that's all. So these are the entire you know, frontline changes over the past 48 hours. So thank you for watching. Do press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next update.